Hi Andor, it's Dave. I thought I might record an audio for you and yeah, just give you some faith that you're on the right path. And I'm so glad that you haven't yet given up on the idea of systemizing your business. I know you talked a little bit about your journey, getting started with eMyth and then tried to help to build a systems culture, but it didn't quite stick. That's always the risk I find when it comes to changing businesses' culture. The risk is if the cultural change doesn't stick, you then become resistant to that change further down the line because you and your team can reach the conclusion, oh yes, we tried to do that, but it doesn't work for my business for whatever reason that may be. Yeah, we're always very particular about once you get on the path, you need to stay on the path because you can end up doing more damage than good. And for you to keep coming back, you intuitively know that systems are a critical part to moving beyond a business that really relies heavily on the founder or certain key team members and is without systems, you're really limiting your growth and scale potential because all great businesses that have grown and scaled have solved this piece. So at some point, it has to be solved. So I think you know that, and I think that's why you're per persisting with it. Great to hear that you've uh, discovered systemology. Uh, obviously, you would have seen in the book, I was really inspired with the work I did with Michael Gerber, and I always felt like the E-Myth and uh, some of the books that have come before it were great at building the case for why, and I can already see you've got the why. Uh, it's the how that's missing. So systemology is a way to solve that. Now, there are many moving parts required to really make this work, and uh, some of it will depend on your existing team. In fact, um, depending on the size of it, a lot of it will, because they're either going to embrace this change or they're not. The book and the steps that we go through will give you some really clear direction. Probably one of my biggest pieces of advice based on what you've said here is you need to find a systems champion. And I talk about that quite a bit. There's a presentation floating around uh, from one of our systemologists that we can get for you. But you need someone who can really support and take charge of this. You're still going to uh, endorse it and present it to the team and say, this is what we're doing. But you need someone who's going to drive it really day to day. There's a lot of moving parts here and I'm confident having seen hundreds of businesses go through this journey that it can be achieved for you. You are on the right path and you do need to stick to it. I, I get the idea that it can feel like an endless journey and to a certain extent it is, as in uh, we are talking about business, which never really ends. We're talking about a cultural change. This is not a one and done. You don't get to a point and go, ah, we're systemized, it just becomes part of the DNA. But there is a big hump and a big challenge that happens up front. All of that resistance and um, challenge that you need to get over, that's where it is. And the positive effects that are felt from systemizing your business are not felt until much further down the line. So you don't get an immediate gratification. There's a compounding effect as each system lay it upon each other, improves efficiency, and then you've got the force multiplier between those systems, and then that equals the great result. And then you can look back many years later and go, wow, that was the turning point. But you have to consistently and persistently uh, work through it. So hopefully that gives you some inspiration. I, I thought this might be helpful.